Medway stormed back in Game 1. Medway then was forced to forfeit Game 2, setting up a win or go home Game 3 over at Marlboro High. And in the top of the first, the home team gets the scoring started. Skilling's on third with Gogan up, and Matt loops it to left for an RBI base hit, giving Marlboro an early 1-0 lead after one. And the score would remain 1-0 until the fourth, where Marlboro would put up a crooked number. Here with Petty on first, Mahoney slaps it the other way. The ball slices away from the right fielder and gets past him. Petty hustles all the way around from first to score, making it 2-0. Mahoney would later score an Oviera hit by pitch to push the lead to 3-0, setting up our big hit of the game. McDonald steps in with the bases juiced. He goes the other way, and the ball lands just inside the line. Ferreira scores. Mealy scores. And Vieira comes all the way around as he scores. McDonald's bases clearing double made it 6-0 after four complete. That gave Marlboro starter Adam Poverman plenty of room for error. However, on this night, he was dominant, especially over his first six innings of work. He struck out six, including Lum here to end the second. Then later in the fourth, he gets Coakley looking to retire the side. And then in the fifth, he'd make the play of the game. Shows off the quick reflexes, robbing Dion of a hit. Medway would cross three in the seventh, but it wasn't enough, as Marlboro wins this one 7-3 and wins the series 2-1, advancing to the C-Mass semis, where they'll take on Framingham.